It's the final part of Act 2, Rune Factory 4. So, grab a drink, snack, get some extra cushion for your chair, and strap in, boys and girls. Just watch this on your phone while you're trying to go to sleep. Well, no, then they'd only get the first five minutes. Puberty is extremely disappointing, Ethelbird. <laughs> it's kind of what it's all about, man. Maybe you wouldn't know, because that beard is obviously glued on. Ethelbert here is calling back to Rune Factory 1. Oh, right, and how he would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling Earthmates. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just the one. Something about his design is, like, a tiny bit off for me. He looks so badly drawn. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he should be more wrinkly or even have some glasses. Right? Yeah, he's prettier than he needs to be. Maybe a walking animation? That would be nice. Look, speaking as an old man, pretty is not something that will ever describe us. I mean, you used to have David Bowie. Right, but I mean, he was ageless. Like an elf. Jesus Christ. Holy, Holy fuck. fucking shit, Ethelbert, what? He's got a few insta-fucks. Holy shit, did you hit the enrage timer or something here? That attack, you just need to know the right place to hide. You know you gotta pass the DPS check to kill him before he finishes casting Shin Zensetsuken, right? It's at this point I'm very thankful for the fast forward button. One of the best options ever put into a video game. You mean you could have been doing that the entire time? <laughs> it's a let's play for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, like I, I know it's I know it's been a while for you, but in a let's play, there there are certain weird nerds who like to read the dialogue. <laughs> I don't think we should be pandering the lowest common denominator like that. You're right. So, Thorn, what was that insta-fuck attack and how do you avoid it? You have to go out into one of those four balconies. Holy... And just sort of hide there. Be careful, there are like, teleporters there for whatever reason. Oh, and watch out for that, that's another one. Mechanics are really difficult. Gotta watch out for those tank busters. Right? Oh my god, man. Pop your drill. He's using chinchella. Hey, you got him. <laughs> Alright, that was good. Good. Alright, good game, everybody. Well, see you guys next week. Yep. Oh, it was a test. Oh, now I have a taste of my true powers, me up the bird. I was naive back in my 200s. Oh, I was so naive at the start of the fight. What if I'd just gone <laughs> in my final phase? Okay. Fine. You want to be an Earth mate, but don't you have to be, like, nice? Hair in my mouth. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Somebody get me a scrunchie. The Earthmates made the rune spheres. What? So this whole time, Pubert was delivering a chunk of his poop? <laughs> yes, Skippy, yes. Hey, a rune sphere, this is great, maybe I should take this to Ventus. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps eating people for some reason. Maybe, when she, maybe if she eats this, it'll block her up. That's right, maybe she should eat my poop. <laughs> Pubert. Yes? Why is there corn in the rune sphere? Uh, I have a varied diet. The I'm an Earth May! This world's future king. Oh. oh, shit, I hit his <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> and now I can't hit him. He's invulnerable. Look at your pathetic attacks just tinking ineffectually. Oh, get up there! Oh, you dumb mother! <laughs> you have to take that. I swear to God, if you harness the power of friendship, I'm going to vomit on my keyboard and send you the bill. Yes! Oh, now he's a 13-year-old girl on MySpace. 
He's so edgy. He's the penguin of doom. He's gonna kill you with a spork. We, uh... <laughs> I mean, you know, we all laugh at Ethelbird because he's different, but maybe he's laughing at us because we're all the same. I think this just signifies that he's vibrating like he really is being electrocuted. I am one with the power of gods. I have achieved my true form. XX Ethelbord 420 XX. <laughs> six, six, six! I'm half dragon, half fairy, and half griffin. <laughs> Who the fuck were your parents, kid? <laughs> yeah, you're boring! Inattentive enough? Oh, I'm bored! Die. Okay. That's a di die. Did die? Did die? Did die? Did die? Did die? Did die? Hi, dog. Hey, look, I'm ship surfing. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arthur did something. Hey, some big help. Yeah. Oh, good. Actual trained soldiers. Can we go home now? Wow. Oh, man, Bet as well. Wow. Venti got out of her hot tub? I am very cold. She is so pruny, you don't even know. Well, I could leave at any time. I just didn't want to, because then you'd keep bringing me stuff, so... I'm a native dragon, I'm not stupid. <laughs> yes, now please get these ticks off me. Jeez, oh, I don't actually think you that way, Peter Senpai. Yeah. What? I'll just beat him up like some kind of rune sphere pinata. And then eat his remains. I'm the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to say that again at speaking volume? He is a 14-year-old on MySpace. Wow, holy shit. Next thing he's gonna be going off about how he's actually a psychic vampire. So he doesn't actually have to put his mouth on anybody. <laughs> because he had the pledge. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you for the healing farts. Finally, she's using her farts for good. Excuse you. Nope, still can't do anything. Come on, Venti. There we go. Oh, okay, so Venti's, what, just tail slap and then you're off to the races? Pretty much. No one wants a green mage around until they need to spell. Right? Oh dear. Oh god. I can't escape it. Oh god. Huh. She'll keep me okay. Uh, she just uses the old the old white mage fire hose. Chest peace! Gah! Haha, uh -huh. I actually have another form. Wonderful. This is a JRPG. <laughs> I 
but bah, 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 falls over. I'd like overwhelming power. Well, great. Now all StarCraft units are invincible. Ah, man. My one true love was me. I just love power so much. I've just been holding it and staring at it. Ever since I shoved that knife in a socket when I was a child, I've been in love with power. Oh, I love power so much. Although my teeth hurt when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> Radios go on the fritz whenever I walk past. I've been haunted my entire life by NPR. Seriously, I'm so fucking sick of Garrison Keeler, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hurdle! Whistle. I will destroy this world and Ira Glass with it. <laughs> no, I like Ira Glass. <laughs> yeah, but every episode has been depressing for like the last six months. The last six months have been depressing. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> that is a true sentence, but... Sorry, just kidding, everybody. If you're watching this in the future, everything went great and there was nothing to worry about. Like Ventuswell, she's fine. Yeah, oh, she used too much power. Get her back in the hot tub. Check her neck pulse. She listens too much to This American Life. <laughs> <laughs> she's sick of This American Life. Oh. So what's this Canadian life like? Um... A lot more boring, actually. Can we have some of your boring? We really could use it. No, because then we'll go fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian boringness is the only thing that's keeping Canadian racists at bay. It's too cold to have violent rallies outside. Nah. While this is going on, I'll tell you a little secret about Canadian culture. Um, we're not actually, like, nice. It's just... So the, the, the plural of Canadian is fist fight, is what it comes down <laughs> to. So, so we always act really nice and really polite so that we don't have to fuck somebody else up. That's, that's what it comes down to. Otherwise, we'll fucking throw you through a snowbank, bud. So you're like if Scotland was sober. Yeah, essentially. We're like the Brits, but with more space. So, while other horrible societies would have invented the purge for you to get out all this aggression, you instead have ice hockey. Exactly. And weed. Oh, man. Justin Trudeau, we are fucking waiting, buddy. That's why I voted for you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't mix the two. Justin and weed? Yeah! Well, that, I don't know, I'd like to see someone try and skate while I high as a kite. There's probably a YouTube video for that already. Sounds pretty relaxing, actually. Uh, so what's Beardo up to? I haven't been paying attention. Dying? Slowly? I, I think he's gonna jump out of his own skin. Yeah, he's gonna eat that rune sphere and become a god, and then we'll have to kill the god, and get the rune sphere back and shove it up Venti. Oh, he's gonna take Venti- We're gonna finally get to kill Venti! Oh, shit. Is how to talk without anything moving. Is, is he playing hot potato with the rune sphere? <laughs> <laughs> he's actually got it attached with an elastic to a paddle. And he's just super good at it. He's going for the world record. And that's how he'll become a god. You'll be remembered forever as the Rune Sphere Paddle Champion of the Universe. I love you! <laughs> uh, mm. 
So it's not really a resolution of your plans, it's more convenience. Yeah, sure. You know. <laughs> when life gives you Ventus will. Make Ventus. Yeah. Look at you ineffectually swinging at that old man. You'll never save Venti. You'll have to kill her, and it'll be fucking cathartic. Yep, you can't do anything. And now we have to fight her. I'm Grande! I'm evil now! Ethel <laughs> <laughs> <That's a> will. <laughs> Perfect. I do like the portraits the same, including all the little animations. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's wonderful! I suddenly really want pancakes! Venti. The power of evil is lowering my contrast. Seriously, Pubert, this really sucks. Kill me! <laughs> Ass. Haven't we all already seen her go back and forth to the forest of beginnings? It's just kind of her thing. Yeah, so, I mean, not really any skin off her dragon nose. This is the one-way trip version, though. What? That? Come on. You can't just have a one-way trip. Okay, don't be creepy there, Ethel Will. What? Come on. <laughs> Am I pretty? Would you date me? I'd date me. I didn't think of Venti that way. You don't have a chance, man. At least she had a personality. So... You know, the previous Rune Factories had a character that the game sort of intended as, like, this is the canonical bachelorette for you. I think because you could play as either a boy or a girl in this, They'll put that into a character you couldn't marry. Okay. Yeah, Vulcanon. Right. <laughs> because they hate fun. So be it. By having you win! Wait. Oh, my god. Holy hell. Oh, good. There went all of my health. Oh. Um. Oh, the fact that happens if you die. Oh. Oh, my god. I think it's another case where you have to die. They love these must-lose fights with no telegraphing that it should happen. I mean, at least this one only took a couple seconds. And the worst are the ones where, like, it takes minutes for you to lose. So you, like, give it your best shot, and then just can't win, and then you've wasted all your healing items? Yeah, it's the best. Or the ones where you can win, but it doesn't do anything? Yeah. Or what about the ones where you're not able to win, but you have to survive long enough? Right. But losing isn't an option either. Hellblade does that shit a lot, actually. It's really annoying. It's too heavy! It was quite abrupt. There was just five pieces that suddenly... Oh, she found the text color tool. Oh, there we are. Okay, Dio. Before I kill you... I will fly between these statues. Uh, man, seriously. Well, one friend and one dipshit are about to die. Which is which? Flip a coin. So this is really fucking atrociously bad. <laughs> 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 like, the thing is, man, there's just, you've gotten shit stomped so much. There's, like, no stakes? And so now he's just kind of, like, rubbing it in for no reason? It, it feels like he's trying to be Kefka, but Kefka's like, oh man, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you and then remake the world in my own image because I'm an insane clown. 
But this one, he's just like, oh, you Earthmates beat me up, and now I'm gonna beat everyone up. Mm. Like, seriously, was he just bullied in high school? He was bullied by Earthmates in Rune Factory 3. <laughs> they shoved him in a locker. Rune Factory 1. Oh, I'm sorry, Rune Factory 1. I don't know what was happening in 2 and 3. He was sleeping it off. In a locker. In a garbage can. Upside down in the toilet. Oh, here we go. So what was that about winning by the power of friendship? <laughs> nope, I'm good. Just let it go. Just just nope. let it loose, man. Nope. Just huck up a hairball. Look at that. Venti's charm is glowing. The token that she gave you so, so many years ago. Oh, they're all banding together! Oh god, big Amber. There's Amber! <laughs> Amber, she's praying! She's hashtag prayer warrior. <laughs> hashtag thoughts and prayers. That's <laughs> hashtag thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Hashtag sponsored post. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Channel all of your love and friendship for Puby into that feather. Come on, guys. Paula used to pray. The people of the world channel their energy into the spirit bomb. Everyone's determined to just feel really good about Pubert until he wins. <laughs> <laughs> so, hashtag thoughts and prayers. Hashtag thoughts and prayers. And Big Dillis. <laughs> He's not nearly as astonished about what's happening. At least it's not just, we're your friends, we love you. It's like the actual guardians have to channel the power to us from the rune spots. Don't try and make this better. <laughs> Look. Parko. <laughs> I'm praying with my eyes closed. Shut up. I am awake. I'm just deciding if I should answer. I'm just taking a prayer nap. I take those all the time. Nobody can get mad about it, otherwise it's discrimination. Don't be a moo. I thought she said, show me your moves. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I'm with you, so do your best. I mean, in the very real sense, you are alone. So very alone and far from anyone who can help you. They took away your monsters. Yeah, seriously, you're more alone than you've been in a good long time. No help is coming, Pubert. It's all on you, buddy. So, try not to make a mess when you die. Pubert's one of those guys, if he don't say it out loud, he doesn't believe you. Ah, of course. He can't read context cues. Hanging and hocking up my own hairball. Oh god, sorry, all this power of friendship shit is just... Oh god. Please continue living through your trauma. So I think it was you, Skippy, who mentioned in the thread that you hope at some point these people become worth it. Yeah, not seeing it yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, like, they do do something to help you out. It's the same cliche crap, but they do it. Yeah, but like, I might argue, and maybe this is the cynic in me, that they know that if Pubert doesn't win, then he's gonna all, like, drag and murder them. So, you know, maybe maybe they're just trying to trying to shore up the levees before the the wave of murder breaks through. You know. Yeah, Forte <laughs> was in my party, but then I sent her home. So I wonder if that cutscene still plays out. 
Well, I think she would have been kicked back home anyway. Like, when Ethelbert nukes you. Just like your monsters. So she falls all the way back down only on Karnak. Yeah, exactly. She just kind of like lands in Leon's strong arms and is like, oh, hello. I don't think I'm taken yet, but hey. I don't, I don't think that he's giving me a blue feather, so. Oh, my wounds. Oh, my wounds. My raccoon wounds. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay. Does this go on the list of games where you get to punch God in the face? Um. There's no one ultimate creator God in this universe, so yeah. I'm gonna give you a 50% on that. Because this guy's kind of a false god. He's just kind of like hijacked a dragon. And that's not a god. Like anybody can hijack a dragon. Alright. So we're not at Final Fantasy Tactics level of destroy the church and then punch God in the face. <laughs> no, there's no secretly evil church. <laughs> Although that was a thing for quite some time, wasn't it? Entire point of Shadow Hearts was to summon a god then punch it in the face. Right. Got to do something on a long weekend. So, I'll be honest, I think Ethelbird on his own was harder than Ventus will. Well, she doesn't seem to have any nukes, and you're all powered up by friend juice. She does have that. That's a pretty decent nuke. Because if you get caught in the vortex, it's just constantly hammering you and you can't escape. Like, that That was pretty good, but it seems like your defenses are pretty buffed. Yeah. So much of this seems just kind of nonsensical. Like, stuff goes out and you explode in red numbers, and then I have to actually look at your health to see what that means. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's not really hurting me anyway. No, it's... Oh, but there's the final form. I, uh... It, it's sin? It's the wind fish. What? Wow. This is a JRPG. And me without my marimba. You know it's a JRPG because the final boss comes out of nowhere and makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> but look, it's polygons. So would, so would this part be in 3D if you had the slider on? Yeah. Okay. The game overall would be. This part seems a little more explicitly three-dimensional than the rest of it. Oh, he's tiny now. You can beat him. That's a weird perspective thing. Yeah, I, I want to I wanna introduce to you, my friend, the, the concept that when, when things are far away, they may appear to be quite small, but in fact they're the same size. These cows are small. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to be patronizing the <laughs> Fire away. <laughs> you know how fragile he is. That's why I'm spraying him with water. That's right. Just give him a spritz. Oh hell, oh hell. Nah. No, I'm actually fine. Oh, just a modest amount of damage. There's more waiting in this than injury. I'm gonna guess this 3D would make it a little easier to line up your shots. Possibly. You wouldn't be able to see it in the video. No. In fact, when I turn on the 3D in my 3DS while I'm recording, all that does is slightly move the screen up. Yeah. It's a little weird. I guess all it does is it just records the top layer of the stereoscopic effect. Probably. Yeah. Which is fine. I don't think you're able to dodge that. I think you have to tank it. Yeah, but it does, like, shit for damage, and you're still hopped up on god juice. Yeah. I think you mean love juice. Yeah, there you go. The love of friendship glooping all over you. That's what that status debuff is. It's friend juice. Oh, no. Go take a shower. The platonic love made a giant mess on your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> The plove juice. 
Pubert's love. Oh yeah, well, Ethelbert, you got pubed. Pubinated. I mean, look, you're in good shape for an old man, but I wouldn't say you got a divine body, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe if you shaved and... Right? Maybe dressed in more flattering clothing? His beard was a lot smaller in Rune Factory 1. Do we know how long it's been? If he's had the beard, you know, since right after that, it's gonna be that weird thing where if he shaves it, his face is gonna be two different colors. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've had a beard for a certain amount of time, you're locked into that shit. Thinking about it, I imagine this is like 20 to 30 years after Rune Factory 1. Because each game seems to be a decade or two later than the previous one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Venti is polyamorous. <laughs> oh, I was going to go with like. Voldemort. <laughs> Split her soul up among all of the people in town. I don't think all those assholes are horcruxes, man. <laughs> and I'll, somebody who gives a shit, let me know if a horcrux can be a living... Oh, yes it can, because the snake was one. <laughs> Harry was one. You shut up with your basic plot backstories of Harry Potter. Somebody saw the movies recently. You know, I never have. I, uh, I never, I never cared. <laughs> they're pretty good. I mean, like, I'm sure they're fine. I just, I don't know. When everyone was losing their shit over the first Harry Potter book, I tried reading it and I'm like, oh, this is actually like super twee. So. <laughs> it kind of was. I'm done with this. The last book was kind of boring. Right, but, but, might I posit to you, all books are boring. <laughs> I don't know, have you ever read Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman? That's pretty fun. No. Is it? You know what? I take it back. Books are wonderful. Reading is fundamental. Read a book, kids. Stop reading fucking or stop watching hour long let's plays. <laughs> no. Seriously, do something to replenish the brain cells you're losing from listening to us. Fiction, nonfiction, poetry, shit, even a comic book. Reading is fun Dumb it. Well, congratulations. You killed an old man with friendship. Like Meals on Wheels. Just one of their services. Just fucking line them up. Line them up and I will thank the shit out of them. Do a running high five of the entire town. I like to think I just entered Ventuswil's inventory. Oh no, there I'm on her head. You're clearly clinging to her ears. <laughs> Which I bet is extraordinarily painful. See ya, dickheads. I'm glad they chose Windows Movie Maker Blue for the uh, screen transitions. <laughs> Want to add in your own nonsense? Feel three. <laughs> Fuck up, bird. This is my hero walk. I can do it too. You'd never have defeated Ethelbert if it weren't for me, a small robin. I was with you the whole time, Puby. Oh god, backdraft from the dragon. Oh, here I go. <laughs> I'm your guardian angel. How can you do this to me? You ungrateful son of a bitch. Skit. Caution, low flying dragons. Sound of a biscuit indeed, little bird. <laughs> Sound of a biscuit indeed. I really hope that catches on. It's a it's a wonderful minced oath. <laughs> I don't know if I did get that treasure chest or not. Like I wonder if it's just in the cutscene no matter what. Hey Barrett, why are you here? 
You're not a part of the story yet. He's waiting in the wings for his cue. And Raven. Barrett was young in Rune Factory too, like so this is got to be a decade or so later. This is cute though. You do pass by people as they're leaving the rune spots. Well done, Shopai. It's kind of her thing. They'll be perfect then. We can set Amber on fire on the way out. Outstanding. I don't even care that Venti's a wind dragon. I got a lighter. <laughs> I got a lighter and a can of axe. And you do blow on a fire to make it grow. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, we can make some fire tornadoes. What the hell? <laughs> that person's just being attacked by ants and we left it. Right. Well, I mean, guy can take care of himself. We just defeated the evil empire. Hello, cutie. Oh. Mm. That elephant should not be there. He is very far from his natural habitat. He's the one that escaped during that town event. And I don't think that town event is... What the hell? I don't think it's connected to the story at all, so I don't know why that's happening. No, you thought I was a prince. You don't get to take credit for this. Or did I? <laughs> Venti away! <laughs> Then I realized it was your pocket laser pointer. Then I knew it was destiny. Oh, I thought he was just happy to see me. <laughs> you are my little ray of sunshine. You are my pubert, my only pubert. You're gonna make a wonderful dad someday. <laughs> yeah, fuck me if that ever happens. With your wonderful children, hellhole, fuckhead, and pubert. <laughs> hey, don't forget little Mad Stacks. Oh yeah, of course, little Mad Stacks. And daddy's a little girl. Best. Aww. Speaking of which, I feel like I can confirm. I did post in the thread that... Forte won the uh, relationship vote, so we will be eventually marrying her. And we decided the child that we will aim for will be a daughter named Best. Wow! Because we cannot stop referencing ourselves. Someday I'm gonna marry that girl. I tried voting for the quest box, but... Did better than I did. I didn't vote. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there a retractable dome here, or does Venti just get rained on when the weather's bad? It never rains in Sylphia. So for all that time it's rained? Exactly. Well, I mean, that's piss. It's piss. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So does Venti just get pissed on? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, okay, man. Um, you might want to see an optometrist. Pal, you are on an 11 right now. I need you back down to about a 3. I did see the optometrist! It was laser surgery! Daddy Pubert has had a long day, kids, so... And you older, but somehow dumber, woman. Yes. Well, she's the worst. We know this. Illuminata is... pure fucking poison. For once in your fucking life. Right. If you would like to receive my thanks, they will be at the bar. I saved your town. The whiskey is on you. 
boats. That's that's great. Now leave the bottle and fuck off. Not enough whiskey in the world. <laughs> Maybe Pubert, with his newfound strength of will, could just grab Porkaline by the jowls and just be like, Take the fucking hint. Oh yeah, you slap him on the ass. Yeah, Doug's, uh, Doug's dead, man. Yeah, and... What's his face? The other guy. Hey. I want to say Alistair? Alan? Andrew. It starts with an A. I'm sure it starts with an A. Aloysius? No, they're fine. God fucking damn it. Arthur! I Arthur, my friend! My old friend! <laughs> I didn't actually remember. Amici Mio! So nice to see you! I legit thought it was Albert. Literally forgot it until his text box came up. <laughs> yep. That's me. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, Starbuck! <laughs> yeah, him. And Feather Collar. Yeah, Starbuck! Feather shirt! Starbuck and Trader. Old lady. Yeah, what's up? What's up, old... What's up, gr granny? Gran... Gran... Grandmama? Hey, why are you hugging me like you care about me? Stop, no one must know of our secret love. Age ain't nothing but a number, baby. I stopped paying attention. Yeah, and well, I guess it explains how we crashed. Like, you got to a really good section in the book, and he just couldn't put it down. I lost my bookmark. I've had to keep it open for days. <laughs> oh, fascinating, Pubert. I'll put that down in my journal of shit that didn't happen. <laughs> oh! Thanks a bunch for doing your fucking job. All right, I flew away. Okay, I did it. <laughs> clump, clump, clump. I'm back. Yay! Yeah, you look very happy, Doug. <laughs> uh, shut up. Uh, hair lady. Yeah! What's up? Oh, and horse dude. Ear binding? Good old, good old chest hair and... Uh... Cat witch? Talks with quotes. <laughs> Is that you, cat, cat witch? <laughs> Thank you, Dolce. Shut the fuck up, Keel! <laughs> <laughs> and Pico. Hey, cool, Doctor Doctor Profits, Doctor Doctor Moneybags. What's what's up, guy? Doctor Cravat. Oh. Um... Hey, what's up, Goth Goth Clown and Goth Clown Junior? <laughs> Cosplay 101. Are you vampires or what? Like, you know, never mind. Great to great to see you guys. Shut the fuck up, Keel. Mmm, <laughs> you're delicious. Completely featureless small child. That's right. Look, I know who Keel is because Keel can shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know why you hate Keel so much. He's like, he's one of the less annoying people in town. <laughs> Just maybe, maybe I give him a hard time because I want him to do better. Go to a real town <laughs> full of nice people. Uh, stinky lady. Uh, racist stereotype. Yeah, that's, uh, Vulcanon! Vulcanon. 
Our boy! Uh, racist stereotype junior. And our wife. Yeah, that's right. Uh, bride, bride to be. Nice, nice to looking, looking sharp. Yep. Uh, do you ever wash that armor? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> cat jackass. Look at this fuck boy. Like, <laughs> the hell out of you. Get out of here and back to your harem. You weird, you weird guy. You butt. They all died thousands of years ago. Yeah. You're my harem now. Maybe you should go visit them. This is, uh, right out of one of Ethelbert's 16-year-old MySpace fanfics. Right? Oh, Leon. Everyone loved me so much because I'm the best. I'm the best and everyone thinks that I'm great and everyone wants to be my friend. Leon went into his room and began greasing up his chest while thinking about <laughs> Ethelbert. <laughs> I can't wait for him to examine his face in my chest. Ethelbert is the Ice King, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, because then he would have character. Oh, that's actually a really good point. And a compelling backstory. I know you like the silver foxes. Boink, 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 boink. Speaking as a silver fox, I'm on board with that. Oh, not you, Leon. Oh. I'm only on board if it's a literal silver fox. Oh, so cute! Little dogs of the forest. Uh, hello, large Starbucks. Wait a second, did I pass out at some point? When did you change into goth clothing? That doesn't seem right, now they point it out, yeah. Right? Like... Did... Pubert's clothes change? It's the same cutscene, so... I guess. Like, cause this clothes always used to be white, like they are in his portrait, right? Yeah. And now they're black. Dolce convinced him, I guess. I, I can't see what you're talking. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. That right? is. That's not just me. Like, that. that is a thing that happened. Did they load the wrong model in? I guess. Oh, well, by the way, Ventuswell's dying. Yeah. I was... Oh. I was wondering about that. Uh, aww. No, don't. Don't go, Venti. Don't. Don't go into the light. Don't. It's that way. That way. <laughs> Inward. It's coming out of you. Off to the forest of beginnings. Oh, time to sleep. Time to sleep now, Venti. Sorry, Amber set it on fire, but still go. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, maybe somebody needs to regrow it, right? You have literally forever. Oh, oh no, wait. Wait, what? The runes are dwindling. That's why we had to start farming. So... But I thought the runes were dwindling because the rune stones went missing and it was the guardians who were shitting runes all up into the atmosphere, so... By returning the rune stones... We find out much later what the rune spheres are actually for, but... Basically, the guardians were producing runes to keep Ventuswell alive. And the rune spheres were able to replace that, but for whatever reason, it's just not enough. Maybe, like, us kicking her ass kind of took everything out of her. Oh. Which would probably do it. Sure, okay. I mean, it seems a little bit convenient, but... Well, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because she was already dead the whole time. This is just a, a semi-corporeal form that we were somehow able to fly on. She's already back in the forest of beginnings. We can't do anything.
Viewer looks hypnotized. Uh, I'm trying not to cry, but I'm gonna cry because I'm an emotional creature. It's the dead soulless eyes that do it. Oh, he looks sad now. I just... <sighs> so, so kids, if you're watching this and, and, and you're a burgeoning fantasy writer, this is precisely what it looks like when you write your dumb ass into a corner. If you're writing plot beats and you've seen any of them in pretty much any JRPG, you should probably go rethink that. Yeah, give her another draft. Start from scratch. And don't drag out your death scenes. If you're gonna kill off a character, kill off a character. Death is meant to be extremely brutal. Not the, not the excuse for another monologue. Sometimes it's more powerful to let things go unsaid. Let the characters speculate. Let the characters regret the things that they weren't able to tell other characters before they died. You know, like real life. Remember, this video is an hour long. Never have your end of something take an hour. The exception to the JRPG rule, of course, being Tales of Vesperia. Because... Other than the PS3 Special Edition, it breaks all the rules. Does that include the rules of a good game design? No. <clears throat> oh, it's one of the good ones. I hear, like, after Symphonia, the Tales of games just aren't worth playing. No, Vesperia is one of my favorite games of all time. Aw. Like... Bad guys get, like, straight up real killed. Like, stone dead, don't come back. No magic bullshit. After my 253rd husband. Why, well, I never thought I'd love again, but... Well, how about a quick temple before old Grandma Venti dies? God, are they still talking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's finally over. Oh. Oh. It's bad. Real bad. Yeah, don't tell someone to smile. Oh, hey, guys, she's dead. And now we live out the rest of the year without our best friend. What do you mean? Volkanon's still there. What happened to him? Oh, Volkino! Time to get it, Vulcan on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Prince, I'm much too old for that. Bullshit, I thought you built that bridge. Twice. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised they were working with their Emperor. So wait, Pubert assassinated the Emperor of a foreign militaristic power? Yes. And then they just kind of tuck their tails between their legs and run. You saw their soldiers. They're not going to do anything. God, oh, they're so stupid. Yeah, but I, I saw your soldiers too. <laughs> <laughs> it's why some, however old he is, guy named Pubert had to do everything. Don't moralize to me, game. I like that it cycles depending on what season you're on right now. So, like, I was in summer, and now we've crossed around to spring. Wait, what about all your crops? Oh, don't worry. 
This is literally one year down to the minute. But nothing changes. It's just, it's a time skip that doesn't actually affect anything. Wouldn't it have been much more powerful, though, if Pubert, like, was was mourning for an entire year and just got really depressed and stopped caring about his crops and, like, all of his monsters are dead? Thematically, it would be powerful. Sure. Gameplay-wise, that would really suck. Oh, it sure would suck, but, you know. Ludo narrative dissonance, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we never did get Pubert's memories back. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite the blow to the head. He's got like five families by now, all wondering where he is. See, the problem is, is Fontanelle never closed. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Venti sitting on the floor of the UN chambers? Well, you know how it is with these international resolutions. Ah, uh, thank you, game. I never would have realized all the things that I just played through if you didn't tell me. All the stuff that Venti, like, literally fucking said out loud. Because this is not a well-written game. <laughs> It's important we get it on white text on a black background, slowly scrolling. Of course, just so that you remember what Venti's character was all about. Who? Yeah. Okay. I'd argue the game is decently written, it's just not well planned. Um... It's, it's not unique in how it plays out. I mean, they, they break a lot of rules of effective narrative, so... <laughs> the video game so you've got like a 95% odds of getting tell don't show right you can't just fucking tell people what your deal is you know you can't tell them how how you feel that infuriates me it's like <laughs> here you go here's a character care about them this is what I'm all about me and my hammer but anyway so Venti's dead, the Empire's dead, game's over? Sort of. At this point, the game considers you having beaten the game. There is an Act 3, but it's optional. At that point, there are extra orders you can enact, which it says they're only available after you beat the game, and this is that point. This is the end of the story proper. There's no more plot, necessarily, it's just additional stuff. Well, I've got a couple more gigabytes of videos in this folder, so guess what, kids? <laughs> we ain't done yet. We're gonna be together for a good long time. At least until I'm done with this community service. <laughs> we knew what we were getting into. I know, I did not. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, technically, we got into the good Harvest Moons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Rune Factory 4 is... Okay, I feel like it leans a little heavily on the on the JRPG bit, not nearly enough on the Harvest Moon bit, so... But that's kind of where my values are, gameplay-wise. Even after playing through all of this and sitting through all of that, this is still one of my favorite games on the 3DS. Aw. Well, there's a low bar. Well... Nah, 3DS has got good stuff, come on. Really? Name two. Fantasy Life, Monster Hunter Generations, fucking Monster Hunter Stories, let's go with that, um, Kirby Planet Robobot. Okay, does that Kirby? There's, <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of bad games on the 3DS, man. Story of Seasons? Huh? Story of Seasons. Right? Story of Seasons is quite good. Alright, you win this round, Granola. Yeah, you're fucking right, I do, I love the 3DS. This game, you fuckers. Yeah. It's like the main Harvest Moon games as well. More fun to play than it is to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you mean? People don't want to literally watch grass grow? I don't know. I'm still, God help me, interested to see what comes next. <laughs> <laughs> 
I want to see Forte in a wedding gown. I want to see you tame that warrior spirit into the doldrums of domesticity. Can we have a boss rush, boss rush? Oh, you'll get a boss rush. It will hurt me internally, <laughs> repeatedly, and constantly. But you will get your fucking boss rush. All right, I'm in. Hell yeah. Join us again next time for a semi-extended intermission before Act 3 probably begins. There's actually only four parts before I'm able to find the town event that begins Act 3. Nice. It's a very rare town event. <laughs> yeah, this uh, it's going to be one of our longer LPs. <laughs> Honestly, I think the only other LP that's this long, either Nino Kuni, like including the screenshot updates, or my uh, live-streamed LP of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, but that doesn't really count, because that's just streams that I chopped up. Yeah. If you want to talk about games that are more fun to play than they are to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Thank you to everyone who stuck through that. Yeah, this LP is going to be 45 parts long. <laughs> End of Act 2, and we're not even two-thirds of the way through the game. There's a lot of shit you can do. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. There'll be good stuff in there. Maybe we'll finally get to tell Keel to shut the fuck up. I hate that kid. Maybe we'll finally see how well Amber's wings burn. Oh, he's so intense today. I bet they go up like tissue paper. Again, I feel like Amber would be a fine character if she wasn't a bachelorette. <laughs> I think she'd be kind of cute and fun, except you can marry her. And now that just becomes horrible because she's clearly a child. Oh, God. So is Keel, kind of. So, like, it's the same problem with him. I retract my defense of him. <laughs> is there a quota in these games? Fucking at least one possible spouse has to be way too childish. It's fucking dog whistles all the way down, man. <laughs> what? Tell you when you're older, son. <laughs> you're all older than me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh. <laughs>